Miss you and welcome back to another video. Today we're recording the Raspberry Pi Can of Kit. Let's get started! So, this is an HDMI cable. This is because it's included with HDMI. This, this is the case. So, alright, so it has three pieces, which actually amazes me, not gonna lie. The top piece, the middle piece, and the bottom piece. The bottom piece has holes to remove all the heat. See this? So next is the power supply. And the amazing part is that it has 5 volts and 2.5 ampere DC. And it's a charger. Let's put it over there. But before we show you the board, let's show you the heat sink. It's actually really amazing. It actually removes the heat from Raspberry Pi 3 when it's running. So now let's show the micro SD card reader. Next is the Raspberry Pi on and off switch. Don't know why it needs to be plugged in, but it does. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The brain of this kit, the master of this kit, it's the Raspberry Pi Tree. Dun, 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 dun. Great, we got it. Raspberry Pi Tree B Plus. Eh, it's just a ball wrap. Wait, it's not just any wrapper. It looks like there's a micro SD card inside. I'm trying to get it. There's an open here. Hmm. It says it's 32 gigabytes! Yes! Everyone get it up. Quick, 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 quick. Alright. Okay, so there are different versions of the Raspberry Pi. The one that I have, Raspberry Pi 3 B Plus. Its processor speed, the processor is right here, is 1.4 gigahertz. And it's super fast. Not only that, the processor is also a quad-core machine, with the static RAM being 1 gigabyte. Super fast, huh? So it has a really great 4 USB ports, which can pull out mouse, keyboard, and all different other stuff. It also has the Ethernet port for wired internet connectivity. It even has Wi-Fi, which is wireless internet. It also has the audio port and camera. It even has the amazing gate HDMI for the monitor. It also has a power connector. Alright, so this also has Bluetooth. Which you can connect to your Bluetooth mouse, Bluetooth keyboard, and my favorite, Bluetooth toy guns! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, okay, back on track. So, we have 40 general purpose input output pins. They look like this. Here is their pin diagram. The general purpose input output pins are used to connect sensors and actuators when the Pi is used as an instrument of Ting's device. Alright, so let's see. Hmm. Oh, a micro SD card slot. Seems like the micro SD card that was in this wrapper wasn't useless at all. Okay, 
The micro SD card is important because sometimes it might have a Linux in it, and the Linux is the operating system. If it doesn't have a Linux, then well, just download it in the micro SD card. There are two types of operating systems, and the Linux is both of them. One of the operating system types is text-based interface, which is harder but stronger. And the graphical user interface is easier but weaker. Oh, and did I mention your Raspberry Pi can also store files? So I hope you like the video. If you do, code on the like button, click the subscribe button, and use a text-based interface on the bow so you won't miss a video. And oh, just before I go, in the next video, I'll be making a video of how to set up your Raspberry Pi and use it. So keep on the lookout for that as well. And now, I'm going to use my Raspberry Pi.